Midsummer in Hangzhou when temperatures soar, but the heat doesn't stop Zhu Bingren from experimenting with molten copper. With help from his team, Zhu pours it onto straw and sawdust, then waits. He's eager to see what shape and texture it will take. Every attempt is different and unpredictable. Many flowers are beautiful. One by one, they are shown. We didn't even think that through the medium of water flowing through the wood, it would be such a beautiful and beautiful shape. In fact, Zhu's idea for the molten copper technique comes from an accident. A sudden fire in 2006 ruined one of his works, but also gave him the chance to think outside the box and push the limits. In 2006, on the 5th of July, we were working on the Tianjin Temple in Hangzhou. This temple was destroyed in the construction of the temple. It was the most dangerous temple at the time. The temple was also the most dangerous temple at the bottom. When clearing up the site, Zhu was amazed to see the free-flowing molten copper has solidified and formed beads in all shapes and sizes. Ah, 不光在形状，不光在它这个表面的这种肌理，都非常美。就感觉到，这是不是上天在给我们传授一种新的信息？铜它可以离开模具，它可以在自由流淌当中发挥它自己的自由的这个新的面貌和它自己的这种特特性。A watched flower never blooms, but an unintended willow grows. The most brilliant ideas often come from trivial events in life. The epiphany pushed Zhu into repeated experiments. Copper can remain liquid for long, so it's difficult to work with. After thousands of trials and errors, Zhu figured out the technique. 那么熔铜呢？它在这个领域里面叫，嗯，它是一个创造和颠覆。啊，就是我们就丢掉了这个模具了，让铜在自由流畅当中就形成它自己啊这种随心随意的这种形状。当然，我们通过艺术的控制啊，那么就形成的就是不同的艺术表现里的这种熔铜的这种元素。For the artist, the technique also marked the turning point of his art journey. His copper painting Chue Li, which shows a withered lotus standing firmly, is his first attempt with the technique. It's been collected at the National Museum of China, along with ancient bronze works. Ah, because I hope that, is, we can bring all the different types of art forms, art expressions, ah, can be displayed in this piece. Its appearance actually means that a new cultural heritage has been established. Zhu said, "Ancient wisdom inspired his innovation in bronze art." Zhu said, "Ancient wisdom inspired his innovation in bronze art." Zhu said, "Ancient wisdom inspired his innovation in bronze art." Zhu said, "Ancient wisdom inspired his He always lingers in front of the bronzeware from thousands of years ago. Behind every relic, there is a history, and together they form the splendid Chinese civilization. This Qianlong Tomb is called the Hermit's Tomb. This is also a world-famous Qianlong Tomb. It's very famous for its ancient Qianlong Tomb, especially in the light of the sun and the memories of its ancient Qianlong Tomb. It's very famous for its ancient Qianlong Tomb, especially in the light of the sun and the memories of its ancient Qianlong Tomb. It's very famous for its ancient Qianlong Tomb, especially in the light of the sun. Zhu's unique vision for bronze art is also attracting overseas attention. At the 2012 Shanghai Art Fair, his bronze sculpture, inspired by ancient wisdom of Taoism, made heads turn. Visitors were amazed to see a golden wheat field coated with copper. Zhu named the work after the most famous lines from the Taoism classic Tao Te Ching: "The divine law may be spoken of." But it is not the common law. Zhu 先生呢，用道家的这样一个名言，用青铜来诠释它，用青铜来浇铸中华文化基因的一个创作。朱炳仁是第一个作者，而且是独树一帜。我没有听说过其他人，呃，用道字、用青铜来做艺术品。它不光是中国人的食物，它也是中国人的情感。而且这个道呢，刚好和哲学意义上的、中国文化意义上的道，它是相通的。I、uh, just chose this field of rice plants, which is not the rice plant because it's a copper. Then you have a strong idea about the symbol you're working with. What is the symbol? The symbol is the food. 
when you the literally food you transfer it into copper then you have another kind of food and it's a mental food that's why I chosen I've chosen this field I said I, I want to show it because I think it's that and uh, I think also a certain um, movements in Western art which were similar in the 60s. In 2018, at the invitation of the Dean of Royal Academy of Fine Arts Antwerp, Zhu embarked on a series of cultural exchange activities. He also hosted a solo exhibition in Berlin, showing Western audiences a new vitality of the ancient craft. He made a lot of uh, elements and he found that there were uh, enormously much elements. So he asked me just to pick out and make a composition. So I made a composition uh, starting from his uh, elements he made. And this is for me, this is the world. And uh, the world has uh, communities and the communities they have cultures. Zhu hopes to show the world China's profound history and culture, as well as this all-encompassing nature. The idea was fully presented in his large-scale painting, All Rivers Run Into the Sea, specially commissioned for the 2021 Guo Forum. Guo 表现形式也是多优。因为它是它这画是非常高、非常大，这个一个很大的一个房间，五六十平方一个地面上面把它摊铺在那里。我觉得作为作为画家，把它上面去看看整体效果。Zhu is embracing different art forms, just like the sea accepts every river. For him, bronze represents the past glory of the Chinese civilization, but also modern-day China with a history so rich and profound, but also bursting with innovations and full of potential. Shen Li, CGTN.